Hello guys, welcome to Bing Engineers. I am Shobhi and in today's video, I will show you how to make a webcam server using a USB webcam and a Raspberry Pi. It will be better to use a Raspberry Pi 3 as it has a Wi-Fi connectivity that can help in the project immensely. The process is very simple but the result is pretty useful and interesting. So without making much delay, let's start this video. The things we will be needing is a Raspberry Pi and I will be using Raspberry Pi 3 model B version. Next there will be a USB camera. I have an old Logitech USB camera, I will be using that and, but the picture quality will be not that good. Then you need a 5V 2MP power source to power the Raspberry Pi. This is a 16GB SD card in which Raspbian OS is already installed. Now take this SD card and put it in the SD card slot of the Raspberry Pi. Connect the camera to any of the 4 available USB port and power the Pi up. If you haven't connected the Wi-Fi previously, then connect your LAN cable to your Pi and connect the other side to your router. After fast boot, you should set up the Wi-Fi as soon as possible so that you don't need the LAN cable and the router later in this project. Now make sure the laptop is in the same network that is in your Raspberry Pi and open your browser. Go to your router settings page by the IP address that is written on your router and find the IP address of your Raspberry Pi that is connected by the LAN cable. For me, it is 192.168.0.107 you can see here. Open PuTTY and connect to the Pi via the IP address 192.168.0.107. Login with your username and password which is Pi and Raspberry by default. Then update your system by the command sudo hyphen apt get hyphen update and press enter. It will take some time. After this is complete, upgrade this device via the command sudo apt get upgrade. Wait for it to complete. And now type the ls usb command to see if the camera is detected or not. You can see it is showing logitech here. So the camera is detected in my case. If the camera is not shown here, there might be some problem in your camera or the camera is not supported in this software. Now we'll be needing the software. The software name is Motion. So to install the software, type in the command sudo space apt hyphen gate space install space motion and press enter. It is, a, it is a very small sized file, so it will not take much time. After it is completed, we'll configure the motion.conf file. To do the configuration, type in the command sudo space nano space etc slash motion slash motion.conf and follow the on screen comments.
press Ctrl plus X to exit, press Y to save it and enter to confirm. Now we have to change the configuration of another file. To do it, type in the command sudo space nano slash etc slash default slash motion and change the start motion demo option to yes. You can save this file by the same method. Now after saving this file, your process is almost complete. Now we have to restart the motion software once. To do it, type in the command sudo space service space motion space restart and press enter. Now we have to start the motion server. To do it, type in the command sudo space motion and press enter. Now open your browser again. Type in the IP address that is 192.168.0.107 with the port number 8081 with a colon separating them and press enter to see the feed. So this is the feed of the webcam that you can see in the browser. You can also see the webcam simultaneously that I have shot from the DSLR. So that's how you can make a webcam server very easily within a few minutes with using a Raspberry Pi and a motion software. By the way, you can modify this concept many ways like just like I have attached this camera with the Raspberry Pi to a more remote controlled car and the real time feed can be seen on the desktop. The picture quality might be very poor because of the camera and the frame rate will be much higher in the actual cases. In future, we'll make a full fledged wireless car with the Raspberry Pi and the webcam built in to give a clear and crisp camera feed to the browser so that we can control the car just by seeing the screen of our laptop. If this video helps you, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned to our video. New videos will be coming every week. We also do tutorials videos on programming and basic electronics. Follow us on social medias and all the links are given in the description box below. Thanks for watching and take care.